during the campaign period, we kept making the point that it would be important to put in place some numerical rules, because the PFMA as it stands now does not include numerical rules. So it would be important to put in place some numerical rules, which are a way of tightening it, and then also to put in place a fiscal council that will ensure compliance through the normative approach as was just uh, you know, outlined to all of us here. So we committed uh, to it uh, since we came to power. I know that there's um, a team that has been put together uh, to you know, do the necessary drafts of the amendments that we require to the PFMA. And uh, we're working towards ensuring that that fiscal framework is tightened. The fiscal uh, or, or the rules around the fiscal framework are tightened as soon as possible. Well, so far, like I said, I know that there's a team that has been working on a draft of how to tighten um, the uh, PFMA to allow some numerical rules and also to establish uh, the fiscal council and then also to spell out the kind of features of the council that would ensure that it is not just um, a council that does forecast but a council that can pronounce on performance in real time as was done with the monetary policy committee of the central bank so so far there's ongoing work behind the scenes and we should see it um, see it uh, or it should see the light of day sometime soon I will not be able to give timelines right now. You know that this is a finance ministry transaction, so they will have to uh, tell us the timelines they are working with. But I do know that there's a team working on it, working on drafts, and uh, in due course, we'll see, we'll see it bear fruit.